Vixie. I hope you're having a great day and hope it only gets better. Welcome to Minecraft. It's finally happening. But before we get into uh, the things about Minecraft, of course, we have to cover the comment of the week. I picked out this comment from the Daxter11 from a uh, old video of mine about me playing RC Revenge, if any of you remember that game, where they say, the PS2 version of this game was one of my many favorite racing games from my childhood on the PS2. Absolutely loved it. RC Revenge and RC Revenge Pro are very slept on, good, classic PlayStation games, and uh, I recommend it to anyone who loves the uh, the aesthetic and feel of old school PS2 and PS1. If you would like to be the next comment of the week, leave a comment down below. It, I don't really have... Actually, you know what? I do have a theme for this week, because it's Minecraft time, baby. What version of Minecraft did you first start playing on? And no, I don't mean console or Bedrock or whatever. I'm talking about the version number for the respective release of Minecraft that you played on. And we'll throw in a bonus. How old were you when you first played Minecraft? My first exposure to Minecraft was uh, playing the demo on the Xbox 360 way back in the day. And I think I was like, God, when when did the Minecraft Xbox 360 version first drop? It was like 2012 or something. So I was probably 12, maybe 11. Very small, very little. But the point is, we're here now and I have many years of Minecraft under my belt and I am just now finally starting a Minecraft series. Now that Minecraft version 1.21 dropped literally yesterday and I made a tweet a while ago saying how would you react if I suddenly started a Minecraft series when version 1.21 dropped and uh, people were excited for it. So yeah this is just gonna be like a, a very chilled relaxed laid-back fallback series and uh the general idea for this is just to I always have something to do if I don't have a uh, a different let's play going on or I don't have otherwise plans for uh, for a video any given week. And so I think it's high time we get into a world. This is a fresh install, so there's no worlds here. I the only thing I have saved is my settings because I didn't want to go through and like turn off auto jump and stuff. Bixie's Minecraft Wet Play. <laughs> But, of course, any good Minecraft series is going to have to have good seeds, so pardon me one minute while I brainstorm. If I were to tell you that my dad was in the R... Oh, I see they put... <laughs> they put a character limit. Alright, never mind. Let's just go with something completely random and non nonsensical. Blank Steak Jamboree. Hulu. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, if anyone wants to use the same seed for whatever purposes for 1.20, there you go. There's the seed right there. Oh, hello. That is... that is interesting. Whoa. Okay, this seed's already pretty interesting. I started out looking into a cave. Whoa, weird. All right, now that uh, the game has loaded up a bit and we're actually in here, this is, uh, this is pretty neat so far. Go figure, we spawned in a plains biome, right? Yeah, planes? Yeah, planes. That that spawn point's really interesting, though. Is this an actual cave, or is it just like a divot? Is it a tunnel? Whoa, tunnel. Oh, that's so cool! That, there's a village over there! Okay, sick. Uh, I, I will note real quick, though, um, because, you know, the, <laughs> the update dropped literally yesterday. Optifine isn't up to date or anything, so I don't have any mods, and the game is just kind of raw dogging it, so to speak. So, uh... Game might be a little chuggy here and there, <laughs> but I, okay, so I was not expecting to spawn in an area that I really want to set up my house in, but that tunnel actually is pretty conducive to the style of house that I wanted to try. I wanted to try building a house like into a mountain or a hill or whatever. Otherwise, it's just like subterranean, so to speak. So you enter the house out the front and then inside the house continues and it's like cool and inside and whatever. I've done it once before and I really liked it, so I want to do it again. But the fact that I spawned literally on top of a place that's like perfect for that, that's really good. So I guess, uh, I mean, that village is right over there. Might as well go check it out. We also got horses right here, a big hole with two things of water down there. Dope. You know, what? this is actually pretty solid. We got, wow. Sheep and cow. Village with an iron golem, even. Interesting and cool, hell yeah. So I guess while- uh, uh, it, There we go, hold on, reloading chunks. Alright, there we go. So I guess while I walk over to uh, this village here, don't mind the performance that this always happens when you boot up a Minecraft for the first time. Hey cow. Uh, the general goal of this series, because uh, 
I only started it when this update dropped, and I started it for a very specific reason. Not specifically in update 121. Uh, they introduced variants for the wolf, and they now have, like, different coat patterns and stuff based on, like, what biome they spawn in. And my general goal, at least for the start, like, just in general for this series, is I want to get a, like, at least one of every variant of wolf. I thought that'd be kind of fun. And it gives me, like, a thing to, like, a stretch goal to work at, because there's a lot of variants, and a couple of them spawn in some really... Uh, we'll say hard to get to biomes, so uh, getting all of the wolves might be might take a little bit. But at least for now, uh, yeah, this is this is turning out to be like a pretty solid seed, actually. So I guess there's the reason that uh, you might want. To there's a donkey up there. Wow, this is great. This, this seed kicks ass, baby. Hello, baby. You stay in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually. You know what? I'll put your bed back here, but I will I will make it my spawn just so I can. You know, I mean, spawns literally over there, but just to be safe, because uh, there's also an iron golem here that uh, is pretty conducive to uh, some plans I have. Ooh, snow-capped mountain. Ooh, very cool. But before I do anything else with this village, uh, unfortunately, it kind of looks kind of tiny. It'd be cool if there was, like, more built. Oh, there's a dead rabbit. Right, don't mind if I dizzle. It would be cool if, like, more of the villas were, like, inside this mountain, but uh, I think it is just a relatively small, like, farming village, so to speak. But I will absolutely take all of this wheat, this hay, because that's free food for me right from the get-go. Until I can, you know, set up a, a farm of my own. Hey, is there anything helpful? Or is this literally just like the most pointless village in Minecraft history? Is it just animals and no no blacksmith, no no, no chests to loot whatsoever? Uh ooh, white cat. Eat a burrito. I might come back for that. Okay, uh I I feel like there's more to this village than meets the eye because there's an iron golem here. Uh, there's really not, I don't think. Okay, so I think I was pretty thorough in grabbing grabbing stuff, but <laughs> there just wasn't anything other than food. Which is, you know, it could be worse. So I guess I'll just do... Oh, there's two bells at least. Bing bong. I guess I'll just, you know, improvise for what I had planned. And we'll just go ahead and make like a wooden sword or something. As for the goals of this specific episode, for the first episode, I, I'm not just gonna like set up a house and call it good. Uh, there are so there are a few things that I want to do specifically in this episode because I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that I'm not going to bother like <laughs> uh, adhering to my usual hour to hour and a half record sessions because it's fucking Minecraft. You won't be able to get anything done in an hour and a half. So let's just uh, let's yeah let's just make a wooden sword. Screw it. All right, where's that iron golem? I probably should have made an axe. Eh, whatever. Oh, wait, and, uh, before I forget... Make that bread. All that bread. And... 64. Boop. We'll keep 33, uh, 33 weed around in case we want to set up a farm, like, right now. But, for the time being... There's an iron golem up here who has quite a lot of iron inside him that I could be using. Oh, nuggets. I probably should have saved, like, a couple of those so I can pillar up and smack it down without having to wait for a little bit, but... <sighs> live and learn. Okay, so you need to, like, get down here. Then, one, two, three, four? No, come back. <laughs> come back, I'm trying to do the speedrunner thing. Oh, actually, um, Iron Golems don't have a whole lot of knockback, do they? I, I think I'm gonna push him down. I'm not gonna punch him, but I'm, I'm just gonna push him down to the lower lower part so he start so he stops meandering so much. Get on there. Get on there. Go on. And ideally he takes some fall damage. So I don't have to sit here for quite so long. It's gonna be really funny if I completely screw this up. Because I don't usually do this like speedrunner thing of killing iron golems for quick iron. So eh. Yeah, it's poor. Huzzah! We got a stack, baby! I think that's literally two. Ideally, it's three, so I can just get an iron pick immediately, but uh, I don't think... I think that was a stack of two. <laughs> gimme, gimme. Five! Hey, that's a sword and a pick right there. Hell yeah. Worth it. Something I'm very confused about is, uh, why was there an iron golem if there's, like, two people here? Did they change how iron golems work? Because I don't... I definitely did not see enough people for an iron golem in my version of Minecraft. Oh, um, actually, let's build an iron... er, no. A stu... a wooden <laughs> pickaxe. Specifically for getting the, uh, the stone needed for my other basic tools. But anyway, 
Uh, before, I, I should have made shears. Live and learn. Before I uh, went and massacred that iron golem, I did mention I have specific goals for this, uh, this particular episode. And those goals, particularly right now, just consist of very basic I started Minecraft goals. But aside from build a house, I also want to try and get full iron in this episode. So full iron armor, maybe a shield. And uh, I already have two of the like three, maybe four regular tools I would need for iron. So uh, I'm, I'm looking good so far. I'm liking this. All right, I bet this is going to look amazing with the fact that I picked up torches from the tree. Yeah, there we go. All right. See in a little bit when I have all this coal. Cobblestone. There's coal up there. I got distracted. And I think I usually grab like 19 cobble. That should give me all the stuff I would need for all the stuff I would need. So, furnace, bonk, sticks. We want an axe. I already have a pick, so I don't, I don't need this, but whatever. Shovel. Oh. I already have a sword. Wow, it's, it's, I'm not used to having iron so quickly. <laughs> okay, so we have all our, well, all our intentional tools for the time being. So we're just going to make a quick chest, right, meow? Boop. Place it, meow. And a furnace, meow. And there we go. All right, uh, our humble abode is complete. Uh, hope you enjoyed the series, everybody. No, but not really. So I am having some grand old ideas for this. Ooh, Baidu's. Baidu's give me bow. Pardon me, arthropod. I need your insides. Specifically, well, what specifically you have inside you right now. Thank you for your patronage, too. Awesome. Well, on the bright side, that's enough for a fishing rod. So I could get some fish and uh, potentially even go tame that white cat over there. That might be interesting. Okay, um... So I already have ideas of how I want to do this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a little bit wider and probably knock down the dirt to this level here and have this be the house-shaped entrance to my subterranean home. You, th you see what I'm picking up? You picking up what I'm putting down? You smell what I'm stepping in? Uh, I hope that skeleton over there doesn't get any bright ideas and decide to meander his way over here and jam jamble up my skis, so to speak. Either way, we have uh, we have some carving out to do, even though I currently do not have the wood to do this, but we're doing it now. If we do it now, we won't have to do it later. Uh, I think one wider on each side is probably gonna probably gonna get me set. So I guess while I dig out all this dirt, I was thinking about like what I want to do like going forward if this series ends up being like a, a relatively popular thing enough to like warrant it like sticking around. I want to do mods at some point. I do, but I'm not sure what I would do for mods, if it would be just like, well, I suppose it entirely depends on what mods come out for 1.21, but I'm just thinking about like, do I want to heavily mod this? Do I want to keep it vanilla plus? I'm thinking at least for the time being, we're going to stick vanilla because, you know, this is clearly Minecraft has updated quite a bit since I last played. So I think it's a, probably in my best interests to uh, keep it relatively vanilla so I can just kind of enjoy the game for what it's meant to be. Which I haven't done in quite some time. Usually when I hop on Minecraft, I uh, I end up modding it and one like inconsequential mod leads to another and up having like a, a big mod list and then it stops being vanilla plus anymore. So I think, yeah, I think I am going to keep this like relatively grounded in reality, so to speak. Hmm. Okay. So we'll worry about fancying up stuff later. Right now, what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to carve this out so it's a nice, a nice four wide staircase here. And this staircase is going to be what leads down. Oh, actually, there's an idea. I could have like an entrance thing here that like comes out like this. And that's like my doorway. And that connects to the bigger house, and then that drops down there. Yeah, there we go. That's a cool idea. All right, I'm gonna leave these these dirt blocks here so I can remember what I want to do because I'm going to forget. So let's just shove all this. Oh, actually, hold on. We got we got a lot of dirt. So let me just fill this in real quick. All right, so we got our our entrance carved out at least for the time being. So next up is probably just actually getting the wood to do so, which might be moderate to severely annoying. But the fact that, oh, there's there's trees over there. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of spawning in plains because of the uh, drastic reduction of uh, trees. But uh, I suppose if I get lucky enough, you know, one tree can lead to a forest. Probably a metaphor in there. Okay. Um, so we, do I want to grab this? The new update did mention something about 
new things with copper. So we'll hold on to that, if nothing else. So we're just going to thunk all the stuff we don't need currently away. We'll put our wooden pickaxe in the furnace just so we'll cook the rabbit. There you go. There's something we can do. Uh, wheat seeds, rabbit hide. Uh, can you turn rabbit hide into normal leather? I think you can, right? Just in a two by two? That might have been a mod, I'm not sure. Nuggets. We can now make a rabbit sandwich with all the food we have. <laughs> or I guess one sixty second of a rabbit sandwich, which is good enough for me. So let's just grab the axe, the sword, and the pick. Actually, let's not. Just in case something wacky and uncharacteristic happens, we'll keep our pickaxe in there. Right now we just need wood. I heard a skeleton bones. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of creep. Okay, you know what? Before we go lumberjacking, maybe... Maybe, maybe we had, ooh, there's a Slimberman over there. I almost said the norm. Is he holding a grass block? Hold on. Emberman. Okay, uh, we gotta be quick. Okay. Uh, you wait right there, Mr. Sir. I just gotta do something real quick, and I need you to keep holding that grass block. It's very important, very conducive to my ideals. If he drops that grass block, that means we can have an underground wheat farm, and that's something I really want to do. Pretty go? Hey, look. I'm staring at you. There we go. How's ah. this for pro Minecraft strats? I didn't mute my phone. You better drop that grass block. One fucking job! This is the makings of an underground farm right here. Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna keep my animals above ground, but I'm gonna have like all my wheat and stuff underground. So maybe I can set up something with, with a redstone to like automate the harvesting process. Cause I've never really done that before. That might be kind of interesting. He didn't drop an ender pearl and I'm kind of upset about it. But we got our grass block. Hell yeah. And the time that took, it became daytime. So uh, I'm just going to keep wandering over here just in case, uh, you know, the, the creepers are far enough to despawn. Hey, man. What's cooking? Yeah, cool. I, I think he and the kid are really like the only villagers here. Um, Which, actually, Mr. Sir, you are in a very convenient spot for me currently because you my friend are going to be a very helpful individual eventually but you just wait right there mr sir congratulations sir you have been elected job security you will remain here for the rest of your days and you'll be a very very valuable asset going forward just uh avoid zombies yeah we'll go ahead and make him a, a dirt box that's a little bit more secure from zombies because uh, i don't want to lose this guy i don't think he's like a nitwit or whatever they're called so he can't get a job, because I'm pretty sure they have green shirts. So you, my friend, are going to be very helpful. I'll give you a name at some point. Give him a roof, just like that. Just a little bit of light, and boom! Look at you! You're all safe and whatnot. And you know what? Just just for you. Um, I'm going to cannibalize your, your fence here for a little bit. Just to make sure you're nice and safe. We're going to set up a little bit... Oh, here we go. Hold on. Knock this down. And I can keep the animals grilled. Boop. More wood. Well, it's the thought that counts. Get in there. I'm getting the, get, get in the, get in the, get in the paddock. Get in, get in the pen. Get in. The, nope. Fuck off. Got you, son of a bitch. I'll kill you. Run away from me. All right, you have been elected as meat. Let that be a lesson to you. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Now what I was trying to do is just binkus bronchus, and now. You have a market stall! Look at you, dude! You're moving up in the world. I'll be back when I can actually give you a job. Alright, now that it's actually daytime. Oh, well, there we go. We have cows over here. Uh, we are going to head over to that place in over there that we saw, because there will be trees over there, and currently trees is what we need. So, we're just gonna head on over there. We're gonna knock down all those trees, we're gonna pick up any sapples, and we're gonna put the sapples on the top of our area, our would-be house. It leads right in here. Oh no, this is this is where I killed Mr. Man. Um, you know, we'll, we'll leave that there. In like a hundred episodes, that'll be like a ooh hero brine or whatever. <laughs> now, on top of the whole I want to get full iron thing, as far as my goals for this episode go, um, I do well. I guess my my other goal was to find a structure, and I didn't specify any particular type of structure. Chickens. I didn't say any specific structure. I didn't say like a jungle monument or whatever. Is this actually a forest? Like a a mini forest? I think it is. Oh, that's convenient. We're gonna clear cut the shit out of this place. But yeah, I didn't say any specific structure, so I guess technically we already have that crossed off the board because we found a village immediately. 
but I would say, in my per my personal professional Minecraft player uh, opinion, villages and structures are different because villages are a collection of structures. Structures are independent single things, like an ocean monument or those uh, those weird drowned things that are in the ocean. So we're gonna keep we're gonna say that we haven't found a structure yet, but we have found a village. So. Snowy, cross that off the bonus board. Ding, ding, ding. We finished this thing that we weren't supposed to in the first place. Wow, look at us go. We are cooking with gas today, I'll tell you that much. All right, Snowy, now that you've uh, updated uh, the very complex animated graphic of you uh, striking out the uh, the to-do list. <laughs> I know. Um, go ahead and uh, transition to an epic woodcutting montage, because this is, this is going to be a little while. Sixty-four. All right, that's two sixty-four stacks of log, and like twenty-something saples, plus uh, whatever may have popped up in the time it took me to get that. I am regretting not bringing my pick because I did notice that there was a little bit of iron over here. Your days are numbered, you fucking alkaline piece of shit. Is iron an alkaline metal or whatever? That I did not pay attention in science class. The point is, we got two sixty-four stacks of log. And 264 stacks of rogue means that we can get a very good start in the uh, the makings of our subterranean home. And it's going to be real cool. Real cool. Say that much. Real, real cool. Uh, is this a separate thing? Or just lead? Uh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that's right outside my house. Ooh, what if I, like, carve this out and this is, like, where I put my animals? That's gonna iron. That's gonna be a little while, but that might be a th cool thing we could do. I could make this into an axolotl pond. <gasps> a better idea. I could collect axolotls too. That's gonna be a very big stretch goal because there's a couple of them that are really, really rare. And the way we're gonna do it is bing bonk, boop bop, bip bop, bip boop, and then let's make some of this into do that much so it's divisible by four and uh do we want it three tall or four tall we'll do four tall just so i can have a, a little bit of extra decoration then we put you there you there you there and you there and we'll connect you across like this Bip, boop, and we have a frame hell yeah um do i want it coming across like this <sighs> Excuse me, sir. I'm doing real estate things. Not that you would understand. <laughs> Engderman. You're not holding a grass block, but I already have one. So, do I want to bother getting your ender pearl? Hmm. I think I do. Yeah, you know, we'll just we'll just build an Enderman shelter real quick. <laughs> I'm destroying this later anyway. Stand right in the middle, and you shouldn't be able to hit me. <laughs> you silly goon. Oh. Yeah. That's what we're looking for, baby! Put that safely away so I don't accidentally use it. Right meow, right meow, right meow. We're going to put log up like this and put wood here. Uh, that is. And I think, ooh, he's going in the Enderman shelter. All right, false alarm. Let's just look from this angle. Uh, yeah, we could, yeah, yeah, we, we, we can work with that. We'll, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Baby zombie. Pillar. What do you think you're doing, you little fuck? Uh... Chicken jockey? Whoa! Oh, I don't have a name tag. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um, if I give you something to hold and put you in a boat, can I keep you? Will you not pick up rotten flesh? How about... That's my sword! Give me the sword. Okay, um, I was not expecting a chicken jockey to show up. I don't have any way to keep you around, dude. <laughs> okay, um, we're just gonna... We're just gonna put him in a boat real quick, and we'll figure out what to do with him later. Yeah, and put... No, not the torch. Concern it. Aha! Success. Alright, now you hang out just right there. 
because uh, I ain't gonna lose you. Here, have a piece of bread. Pick that up. Play with that. Will baby zombies not pick stuff up? I could have sworn they could. Put my sword in the right place. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do myself a big favor. And we're gonna make our doors first. Just so I can lock up like this. Make sure that we are not intruded upon. Just like that. Ignoring that he can totally just jump down if he want to. But he won't do that, won't he, other baby zombie? All right, well, uh, we have a friend now, I suppose. Strange bedfellows, something something like them. Around that uh, vernacular. It's not the correct use of that word. <laughs> uh, where'd I put that coal? Did a creep right here? You better not be creeping on my real estate. I just made this place. Actually, I haven't even made it yet. I'm still currently making it. Don't do anything silly. Don't think. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. Chief among that is domestic terrorism. <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I didn't get the I didn't build that up anyway. All right. Well, uh, the, the, this is an interesting development because you might despawn, and I'm pretty sure if I get in the boat, you'll still be able to hit me. We seem to be at an impasse. All right. Tell you what, little dude. You get free house and board, and in exchange, you don't try to eat my brains. How's that sound? I appreciate that you had to think about it, at least. Um, I don't know why I'm bothering doing this, because this isn't what I want my house to be. I want it to, like, be filled out with wood on the inside, but I guess, uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Okay, yes, he can still hit me, so we're just gonna park him right here, and then we're gonna move. Yeah, <laughs> this is a predicament, indeed. Man, why don't you pick up stuff? I remember keeping, keeping oddities like you around being so much easier. I guess for the time being, we'll just go ahead and fill out this a little bit. Use these two coal to make eight more torches. So we can, you know, not have shit spawning in here. And I guess we'll just, for the time being, we'll fill this out with, with, with planking. To make sure that no unwanted guests decide to drop in through the ceiling, a la Obi-Wan. Well, here's something, I suppose. <laughs> Regrettably, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose this chicken jockey because I don't have any way to keep him around. Unfortunately, my little, uh decayed friend here is a necessary casualty of war. I've, I've had decent luck with chicken jockeys spawning before, so hey, maybe, maybe 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 I'll get another one and it'll be like he never left. And who knows, maybe he'll just not leave. Is that a possibility? That'd be cool. We may be living in squalor currently, but at least we'll be living in style. All right, little dude. Um, If this is the last time I see you, uh, it's been real. Um, I like the part where you, you know, slashed at my neck when I tried to move you over here. Uh, sorry if, like, eating in front of you is offensive or whatever. Regardless of, uh, your current situation, um, we're just gonna go ahead... Did I put my torches away? I did. We're gonna go ahead and light up down here as well to make sure that, uh, no, no wayward individuals decide to spawn inside my would-be house and ruin my day. So, I guess we have the makings of a house. I... my task is make a house, but, uh, that might take a little while longer. Especially if I want to fill this out. So, what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna say our final goodbyes to Mr. Mans here. Ow. I didn't ask you to dap me up, but I appreciate that you did it out of instinct. Um, it's been real. Uh, if you're not here when I get back, um, it was nice knowing you. Good to see ya. Just, uh, make sure not to take the boat on your way out, cause, uh, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna expect a return on that. I knew he was gonna use the Enderman Shelter. Right now, <laughs> hey, me again. We have, uh, some particular things I need to do. And particular things of that nature include we need a farm we have food for a while Ooh, there's a thing actually hold on wait a minute pardon me one secarito well, let's grab three cobble but i don't have to worry about uh, destroying my one iron pick this way i can carve out a place in here for my interior farm and hold on my brain's thinking what if we have this now i want that to be like a waterfall that leads down mm. My brain's thinking, and it's giving me conflicting ideas. We'll figure it out when we figure it out. You know what? I'm gonna dedicate my farm to you, little dude. We're gonna- we're gonna dig out a small area right here, and we are going to connect it inward with some grass that's outside, because I'm pretty sure that's how that works. We're gonna carve a little area in here, with which to put my- my- my seeds and such. Are you listening? You paying attention? And we're going to dedicate this specific wing of our house to Mr. Mans here, and Mr. Mans is going to bless our crops with his obvious. Got too close to the chicken. That's on me. With his obvious connection to nature, his blessings will make our crops grow even faster. So let's get that carved out real quick. This is going to be boring, so we're just going to head into a an epic uh, farm art carving out montage.
time lapse real quick. I just thought of something with the fact that there was a ton of skeletons around earlier. I should probably like make skeletons like public enemy number one. Yeah, like pretending the fact that they weren't already. Because, you know, <laughs> with the fact that I want to get one of every wolf, if not more, I'm gonna need bones and skeletons are made of those. So I should probably start killing a lot of skeletons. And I guess that makes one of the stretch goals for this to find a skeleton spawner, because that's going to make that really easy. Hey, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll let the, the, the footage roll here, because look at that. We have carved out a little area for our dirt to place all of our uh, the crops in, is the word. And we uncovered a little, little coal vein here. And we have secured fuel for the time being, and it keeps going, so I'm gonna keep digging until all of the coal is gone, and my petrol voice is going to continue increasing until I'm done! <sighs> Alright, cool. Um, we are going to use some of that to... Actually, forgot you were here. We're, we're gonna knock all this out anyway. So there's no point in making it smooth stone because I'm just going to replace it with wood. So we're going to have the superficial stuff be smooth stone. But all the internal stuff is going to be cobble just because, you know, you're not going to see it anyway. I won't tell if you won't. And just to make sure this doesn't go to waste, we're going to put eight pieces of coal in here. All right. Uh, did I keep any of that dirt? I did. Look at me go. Take this dirt. I'm going to plug it in here. Yep. Yep. There we go. And now... Let's find the center here. There's no definite center because it's two in the middle on this side and one in the middle on that side. So we're just gonna put it right in all. All right, holy grass block of the end realm. I hereby, with the blessings of Mr. Man and his wonderful cock here, I hereby grant you the ability to provide food for I, my villagers, and my wolves going forward, even though wolves will not be eating wheat, because you're gonna be getting eaten by cows, but by the transitive property, you're also going to feed my wolves. <laughs> Godspeed, grass block. Godspeed. So, uh, now that the uh, our farm here is underway, uh, this is actually going to be one like I I go away because I, I need it to be daytime because I got to set up a paddock for animals and I got to bring like sheep and cows over here and I'm going to be gone for a while. So again, if I'm not if you're not here when I get back, it's been real. I really appreciate it. But uh, if you're still around, I'll be happy. And now we make a mad dash for make a mad dash for the for, for the bed because uh, I'm not gonna set up a paddock in the middle of the night. Scary, 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 scary. Don't like it. Don't like it. I see his market stall. I see it. Is he still there? Is he still fine? Did the zombies get him? I hope the zombies didn't get him. Well, if the zombies got him, then I guess I could just cure him. But uh, dude, man, hey, what's cooking? You good? All right, sick. His life is his work. Uh, he won't be. Won't be needing that anymore. Ooh, there's two Endermen over there. Don't mind if I dizzle. And hey, would you look at that? They're within spotting range of the uh, of the Endermen shelter. See, that's that's why I kept it there. Forget whatever bullshit reason I gave before. This is the reason. Oh, one of them. You grabbed a grass block too. You guys are gonna speed up my farm process. They just want to be helpful. Look at them go. Two more grass blocks, baby, and zero more ender pearls. But we're, we're a long way off getting to the end, so let's not worry about that just yet. We're just worrying about setting up, securing food and shelter and etc. All the important shit that you should worry about in a survival situation. Well, dude, you're still here. Huzzah! Uh, continue being here, please. <laughs> Where do I want my... I don't want room to be. Uh, yeah, let's let's set it across the hall from the farm. I want to be able to, I want to be able to smell that wheat anytime I wake up in the morning. That's gonna be really pleasant. Airflow in here, not great. Uh, stagnant air is very very dangerous. So I knocked that too high. Whatever. We're gonna knock it out anyway. We're not gonna bother making this just too big. This is my iron pickaxe. We're not bother making this too big because I just need a place to put my bed real quick. I don't worry about making my, my bedroom fancy in a minute. Well, on the bright side, my uh, my would-be house is inside a coal mine. So, uh, tuberculosis ho, that's gonna be great. I can be just like my hero. I would say who that is, but it's spoilers for those of you who don't, who haven't played the game. But, uh, for those of you who have, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, little dude, uh, I'm gonna need you to not kill me for a little bit because we're going to have to relocate you to 
Well, if I die, it's not a big deal. I'll just lose six XP. Six levels. Go, 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 go! Come on! Matt Hoffman! Well, we're fine! Alright, you little fucker. Uh, blood sacrifice. Congratulations. Now. Um, that, that's just gonna make her crops grow even better. Uh, I think this does actually need to see light, so I might have to knock out the roof for the time being. Either way, we'll set up our our extra blocks as well, just to speed up the process if they decide to. Yeah. But maybe it just needs to be daytime. I don't know. Is this far enough away from man? It is! Alright. Oi! Back off! Witch! Get out of the Enderman shelter! Not for you! Oh, you bitch! Hey, get indoors! Get indoors! Get indoors! <laughs> ah! Three bones, a little bit of redstone, and a very, very broken bow. Out of curiosity, how many shots does this have in it? One, two, three, four, five. Well, it had at least five, so there's that. I am almost dead. Okay, so let's see. I I should really. Yeah, we're just gonna make a. We're, we're gonna carve out our bedroom a little bit more, to to have a little bit of a temporary storage room in it as well, because uh, I'm I'm picking up a lot of random crap and I don't want to get rid of it because I just started this series, so I need everything I can get. I'm gonna knock out this little spot here, and that's perfect. One by six, and that means I can. A wandering trader? What's cooking, big dog? Yeah, you have nothing helpful. Okay, so I'm just gonna do something a little bit a little bit strange here. Uh, don't worry none about it whatsoever. Uh, this is a perfectly normal procedure. Um, this this is a very important thing. I need you to not do that. It's a very important procedure. It's a part of my religion. No, you cunt. I need you to respect my religion, please. It, it very it very particularly involves... Mm, my religion is very specific, sir, and I need you to stand still so I can corral your llamas. Don't worry, sir. No harm will befall you or your llamas should you cooperate. Should you cooperate. All right, just wait right there. Hey, look, I'm chatting to you. Hey, look, I'm chatting to you. Hey, look, I'm chatting to you. No, you cunt. You cunt. Stop. Stop! Worst. Okay. I'm quick. I'm r real quick. Real quick. Matt Hoffman. Damn it! Don't make me do this to you, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Go go back in the hole. No. Mm. Mr. Sir, you are being very inconvenient to my religion, and I do not appreciate it one bit. All right. Hey, look, I'm talking at you. Perfect. Yes, yes. Oh, nuggets. Uh, cobble. <laughs> uh, we're playing it like that, are we? Alright, I didn't want to have to do this, but uh, you forced my hand. He made me do it. He made me do it. He didn't respect my religion. You're a jackass. And you know, we, we, we deal with jackasses in this household. I told him. I, I told him what would happen if he didn't cooperate, and he just, he kept pestering me. I tried to be civil about things. I said, hey man, this th things aren't working out, and you're being kind of rude right now, so I'm just gonna do my own thing, and if you continue interfering, then it, what happens happens. It's out of my control. I'm sorry. And he just kept doing it. Some people just, they just can't, like, they can't not antagonize people, and I just can't stand it. Can't stand it. Anyway, we have two leads now, and that's going to make uh, getting <laughs> getting uh, uh, animals from over there very, very, very much easier. Uh, is my grass growing at all? It is convenient. All right, sick. It just takes a little bit. Which reminds me, I gotta plant my trees, spread them out, make it nice and dandy. Wow, look at all this natural tree generation. This is pretty cool, huh? I might be able to like connect it to my house if it's close. Yeah, that looks close enough. I think the break off here is actually where the tunnel leads. I'll have to look at my coordinates just to make sure. Um, and is that the... Yeah, this is this is where we're going to carve out for our axolotl pond. So we'll keep the tree there as like the, the perimeter, so to speak. Um, ooh, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's what we're going to do. Whoa, this is super cool. Yeah, we're going to have we're going to have our farm down here. Our, our, our ranch, I guess, because animals ranch. I like having, like, not just, like, just boxes 
where an your animals stay. I like having a realistic looking farm that looks like animals could theoretically live there. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to very minutely carve out a little bit of this. And we're going to have a fence running through here. Probably connecting like that. And this will be blocking off. Um, far down does this go? I think that's an actual cave. Either way, that's that's a danger to the animals. And I don't I don't talk about that. Actually, yeah, that'll work. Move this this over here a little bit. And I'll have the fence going around like that. I need more dirt. Did I use all my dirt? I don't think I used all my dirt, but I might use all my dirt. Uh and the tunnel should be over here. Yeah. There it is. So yeah, I should uh I should be able to connect it around through the tunnel. So all of my all of my needs, usages, and etc. are all readily accessible to me. You know, I read something in the patch notes to make sure that all the stuff that I needed for, like, my goals are, uh, in this update. You can leash boats now, can't you? You can! Oh my god! That's so helpful! It was a great idea to murder that man in cold blood. I, I don't need to get attacked by him anymore. I can just tug him around on a lead. Hell yeah. I could take you on adventures with me so you never despawn! That's amazing! Well, I mean, eh. It's specifically in the water, I can't. Congratulations, Mr. Man. You just upgraded from Garden Watcher to Animal Protector. You are my livestock guardian, Mr. Sir. Let me uh, usher you down to your new position, why don't I? Uh, yeah, I can... That... Alright. Um, just... Ow. Wait here for a minute. I'm gonna fill this out with dirt. Just so I can make sure you can get through. Uh, I don't think this is wide enough. Either way, I needed to carve this out anyway. We're gonna tug him down into the water, and then we're gonna tug him over to the place that we're gonna have our animals at, and he's gonna watch over them. Clearly, he loves animals. I mean, look at the chicken on his back. Or, the chicken that he is on the back of, rather. Oh, no! Get under! I shouldn't have done this at daytime! Oh, uh... Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was I was gonna break the boat, but we, we we got under here fast enough. Uh if I if I lead him specifically and I like tie him to something, will he not despawn? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh let's bring you a little bit more this way. Like right there. There we go. Ow. I need the lead, Mr. Mans. Alright, now you wait right here. I'm going to make some fences and I'll get your, your perimeter all set up and you'll be uh You'll be officially hired, and I'll probably have to give you a name, because, uh, you know... I need to know my workers and everything. I like to keep interpersonal relationships at an all-time high. So, I'll be back in a little bit, don't mind me. And this is even better, because that means I can put my bed literally wherever I want, and he won't be close enough for it to interfere with my nappy time. How's the grass doing? Oh, it's spreading real good. Alright. Right, uh, I was gonna make, um... I was gonna make a chest, so I'll do that while I'm in here. And now we make fences. So we'll take half of this, make it sticks. Take that, split it, like that, and like that. Boop. And that leaves two left over. So we can use that to make a fence gate. Bam. Nap time so the monsters don't interfere. And now, because I actually carved this out, we have a direct route back. Woo. And we can get right back to where our animals are. Oh, Mr. Boy! How are you enjoying your new job? Well, you're not hired yet, but, you know, we're getting there. And by getting there, I mean bink, dink, dink. Boop, bop, bip, boop, bip, bip, boop, bop, bip, boop, boop. Oh, I can't lead him specifically. Hmm. Can he lead the chicken? I can lead the chicken. Do I want to, though? I think he won't despawn if I lead the chicken. He might. He might. I'm not sure. It's more charming if I lead the boat. But lead the boat and tie the boat. All right. Howie, congratulations on your new job as my livestock guardian. How do you feel? All right, that's the attitude I like. Uh, I will be back soon enough, uh, and I'll we'll actually get you some uh, some animals to look after. So look forward to it. All right. So how do we want to set up the fence here? Uh, I think the, uh, the the issue right now with my my current house situation is. Uh, there's no, there's, there's a route out, very simply. There's not a route back. Oh, grass, how you doing? Oh, we're getting there. Make a, let's make another shovel, real quick. 
carve out a little bit more specifically for the paddock area. And also, you know, smooth out any, like, one tall blocks that the animals could potentially use to get out if they decide to be wily and or, uh, jackass-ish. <laughs> we have some smoothing to do. We're gonna smooth out too much. We just need it... We just need it at least two blocks tall so the animals can't just hop over the fence. Just like that. There we go. Looking good. I don't really even need this to be, like, <laughs> like corralled in, because I just made it a natural corral. I think we will do a little bit of uh, corralling. Where does where does this where does this lead? Is this a place I can get to from the outside? Yes. Okay. So I think that we'll have this be an alternate entrance that I'll probably use like maybe once or twice throughout the entirety of the series, but we'll have it just in case. So let's do. Fill this out. And let's connect across here. Like that. And it's probably a good idea to have this so I can actually have, a, you know, an area I can bring the animals in where they won't take fall damage. So, uh, it's a good thing I decided to, to do this. And then we'll just have this be sort of like a natural-ish decline, like that. Let's actually... Yeah, that'll look good when it actually has grass on it. And this is bothering me, so we're gonna fill this in with dirt as well. Uh, I might... Yeah, we're, we're gonna fill this in with with dirt as well. Just so it's it's all nice and green for the animals to play around in. For, the, for all the cows to roll around in the grass and such. I'm all about enrichment when it comes to keeping animals. When I played uh, Jurassic World Evolution, um, I... I <laughs> Almost entirely avoided doing uh, the like the pit fighting you can do because just I didn't want to hurt my dinosaurs. <laughs> and this is no different. This is Minecraft. Knock this out as well just to make sure there's no like funky parkour stuff that Hero Brian can do to get into my farm. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that the the open top nature of this this would be really cool to put a dome over at some point. Later down the road. Right now we just need to get animals. Okay, so I made. Way too much fence, but uh, it's better to have a lot of fence than no fence. I always say that's the thing I say a lot. Trust me. We have I still don't have a quick way back, but uh, now we have an area to corral my animals inside. So I just got to make another fence gate so I can make sure they can't just you know turn around and leave whenever they want, which I should still have wood for. Ah, that it. I have wood. All right, uh, let's actually take this time while we're back to sort out some uh, some of our chests. So uh, give me one second. Alright, chests are officially sorted. We're gonna have a much bigger storage place at some point, so I can be very specific about my sorting, but that'll work for the time being. Use the rapid, rapid exit. Rapid speed exit. Yeah! And now I can swim all the way over y'all. Hey, Howie, how you doing, buddy? Still working on the animals, thanks. We'll, baby step, we'll get there. You understand baby steps, don't you? <laughs> Child labor. We're not gonna put the fence gate up yet, because... I want it to be bigger so it's like convenient to get the animals down here. And it's also almost nighttime. So we're gonna really quickly just hop up here. Hi chicken. Uh you're very convenient because you don't take ball damage. Come up this way. I don't know if I'll be utilizing chickens much, but you're good to have. So welcome to the team, buddy. And we'll grab that cow as well. And then we'll go nap time and then we'll go uh acquire the animals from the village over there. <laughs> welcome to your new home, buddy. Don't worry, it's basically no different from where you were already. It's just now, you have safety. Boop. You're welcome. Ooh, actually, it might be a good idea to knock down a couple of those so they don't end up taking fall damage. Ooh, an eclipse. <gasps> wow. Anyway, you know what? I might do that right now, because it's it's nighttime. I can't go get the animals quite yet, so we'll just... Instead of sleeping it off and postponing it even more, we're going we're gonna to knock this out right now. So, I'd want it to split, like right here and have the tunnel go there. So, bip. Actually, here's a better idea. Let's type it. So, 21, 67, 28. Oh, we could have it connect down to the dock. So I have an alternate path down. Yeah, okay, so stand right here. This is where the dock is. 46, 63, 26. All right, so now we have to do one more lap. We can get inside and can start carving out a tunnel that connects to the farm. Oh, there's a desert over there. I didn't even notice that. That's either a desert or a really big beach. Either way, I'm happy, because that's ready, readily accessible glass for all of the windows I'm going to be putting in my subterranean shelter. Well, there, there was that dome I wanted to make. Oi! Shut up! <sighs> Arachnids. 2146. So we need to go 25... 25 blocks... Um, 
east. We need to go down four and then to the right two. So if we need to go to the right two, then we'll just, we need to go to the left two. Ah, oh, okay. So I guess we'll just put the, the, the connecty thing here. I'm going to make a couple more torches with some of that coal we have. We'll use eight of our stack because I have eight sticks. For 32. Now you're playing with superpower. Uh, I need to go to 46, right? So let's start going down right here. I need to go down four. All right, that might be a little bit of an issue. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. This is all, all going to be wood at some point anyway, so. This just makes the tunnel a little bit easier to access. Actually, no. This is great because that means we can just go down directly. And then we have like a, a little dock leading to the way in. Yeah, this, this is perfect. Now, we're just going to put a little stone in here. And then we're going to have the rest of that be wood. We're going to have that go down, which now I can just eyeball it. And I might make these slabs, actually. Yeah, just to, just for more bang for my buck, we'll make those slabs. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm already doing this. We're just going to put that cobble there. We'll break it when we come back. We're going to make all of these into slabs, just so I have three, six times as much. I did math right. <laughs> and now we're going to knock out that cobble, knock out this cobble. Now we put you there. And have you stretch out this direction. As soon as I knock out this spot here to make the path through much more convenient to myself. Uh, Get up, drowned, no one cares. Drowned are going to be an issue, but uh, they're an issue I can deal with. And we'll, uh, we'll patch that up when we have the chance to. Oh, you have a fishing rod. Hey, can I get that big dog? Because uh, I, don't, I don't have one. I have the string to make one, but I, if, I can get one for free. No, of course not. Grab all this copper while we're here, because it's going to bother me if I don't. Uh, what did, Hold on. Can, I need to see if, like... I'm going to smelt this first. But I need to see what you can actually do with copper. We'll have that going. And I think Meow, we're going to... We're gonna put away some of our crap, because we, we, we picked up some random crap. We're going to grab another axe, first and foremost. Uh, it's a good thing I have exactly two planks left, because I, I was out of sticks. And it just so happens that I recently planted a forest around my house. So that's gonna make that way easy. We haven't broken the Enderman shelter yet, so might as well do it now. Get this eyesore that's just wasting resources for no reason out of the way. And now let's not convert all of that into planks, because having logs that are just logs is very helpful. A little bit of those into slabs. We're gonna make the rest into stairs to make it so I don't have to jump down here all the time. And we're also gonna make a second fence gate, just to make this a, a nice one by two. I have direct access to my Tharman. I probably should have made stairs before. Oh, wait, 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 no. We should have a guardrail, because it connects here anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna make our stairs first, which with the two in here, this should be like exactly the amount I need if I did math correctly. No, I need two more. Damn it. Well, that was a dumb word of me to do it. Stairs, stairs. Stairs. I suck at this. No, 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 no. I don't need to do that. I need sticks anyway, so it's fine. But I have a fuck ton of fences that I didn't use because I weighed, I made way too many. I have 50 fucking two that's doing nothing. We're gonna have this connect all the way over to this one. And uh, this does defeat the whole thing of me like jumping down from the waterfall that I'm gonna make and swimming to here. That's making this dock kind of pointless, but uh, we can just, we just open up that side like right there so I can also use this as like a like a like a boat launch. Do that right now. Uh, this is probably going to be where like the boat ends, and we'll have this come out a little bit like that, and we will put stairs here instead because that's even more aesthetic. And I think I have two stairs left over anyway. And connect under like that. It looks it looks kind of ugly, but you 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 won't pay too much attention to it. But now we can plug our boat right here, and we can uh, we can sail off whenever we want. I'm actually going to make this come out a little bit more, uh, not double, not, actually, you know what, no, we'll have that one be double because it's, it's symmetrical with the other side. Grab that, and we'll come out this much so it's even with that. And then we'll just have this, like, connect to the seafloor. There we go. Um, with that being connected like that, um, let's actually knock this one out. See how that looks. Yeah, that looks okay. We'll just fill in the back part here with 
with fences as well, so this is all connected. And now we just gotta do the uh, the connecty doos on this side. Bunk. All right. There we go. So now we just need to, to have our second fence gate here, and uh, we have our uh, our access to our boat launch and uh, and and our uh, our uh, our ranch area. Which, speaking of, how are my animals doing? All right, cool. Uh, did I make that second fence gate already? I don't remember if I did. If it is, it's not in the correct chest, so I'm just gonna pretend that it isn't. And second fence gate. I'm gonna knock this out a little bit more so I stop hitting my noggin. And another day has yet passed and I still haven't and gotten animals, so. But all the stuff we don't actively current need in this exact moment, go to bed. And now, we can finally head over to the village and area. How's our grass doing? Oh, that's peculiar. Why did this all grow, but that didn't? That seems deliberate. Hmm. I'll leave it be for the time being, and we'll just have like this be uh be our be our our, our, our wheat for the time being. Whenever I, you know, I get the iron to make a bucket, because we don't need all that much. We're not gonna have a we're not gonna have a heck ton of animals, at least for now. Right now, we have zero, and it's high time that we amend that. So we are once again going to pay Mr. Man's a bit a visit. And see if he has any animals to spare. We want sheep. Sheep would be good for wool. And wool is good for decoration. Biggest thing we need is cows. So I think I'm going to do cows first and I'll come back for sheep. This is going to be a lot of back and forth. So I might just straight up cut this out and not bother time lapsing. Actually, you know what? We will we will time lapse just, uh, just so you can like <laughs> see my skin moving around, I guess. second sheep okay that'll that'll work because we got three cows two sheep and a chicken now which that just reminds me that i have an egg and egg means i can potentially have more chickens so we're gonna really quickly hey howie how you doing buddy speaking of egg there's another one there even more chances of more chickens all right um we're gonna decorate this once i get like to the nether and stuff we're gonna decorate this with like a little subtle trees that have like glowstone glowstone inside them so it's like Lit up some monsters don't spawn, but uh, it looks nice as well. That was gravel. Well, I hope my chicken wasn't back there. We're going to make this much more aesthetically lit up. Instead of just randomly placing torches about. But for the time being, it does what it needs to. So, let's head inside, grab that second egg. Put away my lead, because I ain't losing this. We'll worry about, like, filling out the, uh, the walls with, like, wood. Once I actually have, you know, my house carved out and everything. Right now, this is a shelter. And I'll take a shelter. This, this works for me. Uh, as far as the build a house thing goes, uh, I feel like this is, this works. It has my amenities. It has the makings of a of a of a of a, of, of a food supply. I have animals and everything. It's just not decorated. It's a house, but you haven't furnished it yet. That's that's the situation we're living in right now. So cross that off the board. We have our house built. The next up on the to do list, all we really have is get fall iron and fire, find a structure, ideally with a name tag. So we can, uh, you know, actually name Howie and make sure he does not despawn. But uh, right now, the, the biggest thing that we need is iron, because my iron pickaxe is not doing so great. And we currently don't have any more. The only iron we got was from killing the iron golem. So we're going to make two extra, make two extra picks out of stew. we put our axe away because we don't need it for a while. And we're going to take the 17 coal in here because we have plenty. We're going to make all of those into torches. We are going to do a little bit of spelunking because we need iron very very badly in fact but first and foremost of course we gotta go in y'all we gotta huck egg huck egg damn well we'll get there eventually all right howie uh, as always boy i need you to hold down the fort uh i'll pay you in some way i haven't figured it out yet we'll figure it out we'll figure it out uh, we figured this out we'll, we'll we can figure pay out i'm gonna go i need to go find iron there's a lot of shit i need to do so, just hold down the fort, make sure the animals are okay, make sure they're happy. Uh, maybe introduce your chicken to my chicken. 
That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so, do it, whatever. So long as the animals are fine when I come back, you're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna go get some iron, so I'll, I'll, I'll catch you in like a day or two. Alright, so before I actually go searching for like caves and such, I do want to head back to that stone beach I bumped into earlier when I was going to get uh, the wood for my uh, skeleton alert. We got a skeleton alert. You have bones in you. Alright, singular bone. We'll take it. We're gonna head back to the stone beach that's over here, because there's at least one little nubbin of iron, and uh, at this point in Minecraft, I'm gonna take any nubbins I can get. Is that a spider jockey over there? It is! We're getting all kinds of jockeys today. Mental. Alright. Um, and I think I actually, since I have my own cows now, we're gonna kill these cows over here for their for their meat and skin, because uh, we do not have full iron, which is another goal of mine to get. And uh, for the time being, with the fact that I'm on normal and not easy, I'm gonna want some sort of some sort of armor before I go spelunking. Oh, you nugget. Yeah, yeah, yo! We're good. Hold on. Experience. <laughs> Alright. There is a lot of... A lot happening tonight. I literally came out here for one iron on the beach. Relax for a sec. Hold on, I heard another cow. We don't have enough... We don't have enough leather for any piece of armor quite yet. At least on my person. I think I have one back at home. I heard another cow. There he is. I'm gonna wait the, let the skeleton come to me. Thank you. Welcome to the Thunder Pit. You are dead. Goodbye. Four. Alright. Uh, five. That should be enough for... Boots and a hat. There's horses here too if I really want to make leather armor. What, what, what's your health like? Okay, you're, you you got a decent amount of health. If, there, if there's a weak horse here, I'll... You, you're a chunky motherfucker. I'll make another of that. Okay, these, these horses are all, like, really good. At least for just basic horses. I want to I wanna try... This is always... This isn't a goal for the series, but this is always a goal for when I play Minecraft. I want to collect all of the, the, like, music discs. So, I almost forgot. And by that, I mean I totally forgot. The most valuable resource any Minecraft player can have on their person at any given point is a boat. You always gotta keep a boat with you. A boat and a bucket. Those are the two most important things you could possibly ask for. I was gonna make pants while I'm back, because I have enough for pants. Actually, you know what? I have seven. I'll wait for the one more to make a chest plate. And we'll just make this. There we go. Uh, can I make... Uh, probably not, but... I can make a copper door. Weird. Uh, yeah, you can't, like, make chest plates or anything with them still. Keep the leather on me. Now we have a boat, and the reason me looking at the creepers and wanting music discs reminded me I need to grab a boat is that that makes it significantly easier to get skeletons shoot them. I don't have a bow. You're being a real big dick about this. Okay, ideally we can get both creepers in this boat. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. We can deal with the zombies on their own. So now we just need to lead a, uh, a skeleton over these guys. And have him uh, deal with them. You guys right there. I'll be right back. Oh, Skeleton, Mr. Sir. I see you there. How would you like to shoot me? That's what I thought. Come on. We're burning daylight. Moonlight. Of course, the horde shows up. Well, the, the skeleton lost aggro, at least, so I can deal with the zombies before I go grab him again. Bring up. Heal up a little. Hey, stupid. I know you have it. I know it's like to have ADD, but relax for a sec, okay? There we go. We're gonna smack him. Oh, son of a cunt! I wasn't even close enough. Fucking ruined everything. There's another creeper over there. I could have grabbed. Damn it! There's a giant fucking creeper. The did that creeper blowing up blow up the other creeper? Because this is a fucking huge creeper hole. And it's right outside my house, too. At least I still have a bunch of dirt to fix it, I guess. I should I should have hit the creepers before I brought the skeleton over. At least I got my boat back. Is that at least? You gotta look for silver linings in really, uh, really annoying situations like this. I'm busy, Mr. Sir. Go away. Um... Yeah, I should kill these skeletons. I need bones for my pups. Oh my god, piss off. Hey. 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 
Nice shot, loser. Can't handle my movement. I just got I got a caught earlier. I got that Modern Warfare 3 movement in Minecraft. Bleh. Can't handle this movement. Okay, well, uh, no. No more, uh, no more leather. Can't quite make the, the thing yet. And, uh, we didn't get the record thing, because fucking creepers exploded, because apparently I was close enough. At least now, I remember that there's more cows over by Mr. Dude Man over in the village. So, I can head over there, I can kill them, and ideally, yeah, that's definitely something weird's happening there. Why, though? Why is it like that? More light, maybe. And we'll just leave that be, and we'll come back and check on it. Kill some extra cows. Ideally, get some more leather, enough to make one, maybe two pieces of leather armor, and then it's time to spelunk. Which is good, because, no, I st <laughs> I never went and got that one iron. So I got distracted trying to get leather armor. But you know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll come back and get it at some point. There's, there's caves over here I wanted to check out anyway, and we're going over here, so fuck it. Hello, cow. Cows plural. Hell yeah. Alright, that's nine for that's that's enough for a chest plate. Uh you drop three so I can make boots. Ah, dropped one. Alright, well let's uh, keep looking just in case. There might be a few more cows here, I don't remember. There may be. It's probably mostly just sheep. Yeah, I think it's I think it's oh! There is another person here. Oh, is that the kid? That that's that's the kid that probably grew up. Ooh, there's light down there. Yeah, see, I knew there was a cave in this mountain. Um, I'm gonna check this horse up here to see if it's, like, weak or not. And then I'll check the horses in town. Oh, bip. No, you're, you're fine. I don't want to kill the pure white horse, because it looks it looks real nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's chunky, so. Horse stays. And there was another one in a paddock. Yeah, in, in like, this, 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 this shepherd's, like, barn area. There's two. Okay, you have a little bit less health, and you're super weak. Okay, so we, we found our winner, everybody. Boop, bonk, bit. Drop one. All right, well, you, you, you're you getting it, too. Okay, I'm pretty sure horses only drop up to one leather, so that'll work, I suppose. Because right now, we have enough to make leather boots and a leather chest plate. And we have ink sacks to make them black, so they look cool. <laughs> and that'll be our armor for our spelunking adventure. I just reminded myself, before I leave, I need to set up my my smelter situation. Because I only have one furnace, and I do not vibe with one furnace. I need a whole furnace wall. Only way I'll be satisfied. So, we're going to set up the furnace wall real quick. Okay, I feel pretty confident that, it, that Howie isn't going to despawn anytime soon. Um, let's put our furnace wall in here. You know what, fuck it, my, my iron pickaxe is going to break anyway. I'm not going to find it. I might find diamonds. Okay, well, we'll save it for diamonds. <laughs> we have cobblestone to spare. There's no point in breaking it just because we feel like it. Put our furnace wall set into this wall a little bit. Like right here. I hope this doesn't break into the wall of my of my bedroom. This whole wall is going to be furnaces. It's going to be furni, if you will. I'm pretty sure it's grammatically incorrect, but I don't care. I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> I'm not going to have nearly enough coal to fill out this entire furnace wall right now, but... I do have a decent bit of coal. Oh, look, progress. It was a light situation. Just light up this whole place. Just, just a heck ton of torches. I still got a stack after this, so can keep that nice and lit up to make sure that, that that spreads out. So, um, we got our furnaces. All right, so we have a six by three furnace wall. I'll make sure to grab a whole bunch of coal while I'm gone as well. Need three more. So I can fill out at least a good portion of these, uh, of these furnaces when I come back. Oh, 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 oh my. I have a lot less coal than I thought I did. Well, sucks to suck. <laughs> so we'll just have four coal in this bottom one. And then when I come back, I'll be able to fill all this out. Right now, this is like, this is unimportant. But what is important is protecting yourself, which is why this video is sponsored by NordVPN. No, it's not. I can't legally make a joke about that. We're gonna put our meat in here. And just to be safe, because I did eat a lot of I did eat a lot of bread when I was getting shot by those skeletons. Grab those ink sacks that I put somewhere. Turn those into black dye. And make it cool black armor. Cover my beans. Yeah, there we go. We are somewhat protected. Two full armor slots. 
And when we come back, ideally, we'll be coming back with full iron with a shield in tow. So I guess now that we're back here and I'm all armored up, head over to the beach. We'll grab that one iron and then we'll head back over to where the village is and go check out those uh, those big winding caves down in the unders. Be very convenient if this uh, this one single piece of iron down here happened to uh, happen to open up into a bit of a bigger vein, but I had a feeling it was just going to be the one. All right, we'll scan this, this, this beach real quick to see if there's any more that we can just kind of get. And there's probably plenty of... There's cows over there. We can theoretically get more leather armor. So I would need five and... I need, I need 12 for me to be able to fully kit myself out with leather. So I might, I might give that a go. There was a couple cows over there, but I don't think there was enough to get me 12. Maybe if they drop, like, if they all drop the maximum they can... But that's asking for a lot. We'll just meander our way over there just in case. Uh, there's four. So if they drop, okay, then yeah, I should be able to get, uh, I should be able to get uh, a good amount. Ooh, there's sugar cane over here too. <gasps> that's so convenient. Oh, okay. It was, it was a good thing I came over here then. Oh, cowmums. I need your exterior, in fact. Think. Boop. Ugh. Six. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we just need six more, which there's another cow up here. The horses live for another day. Two more cows. Three more cows. Okay, we, we, we've basically got, we basically got this in the bag. Nine, two. All right, if, the, if this last one drops three, we're, we're in the clear. We might have to take out a horse or two. Depending on how selfish this, this cow is, there might be some horse death in this situation. And... 11, that's a shame. All right, well, you know what? One horse casualty is... Of sacrifice I'm willing to make. What about you? You're you're chunky, so I'll probably keep you. You're okay. Alright, uh, you better hope that you are the thickest horse this side of the Mississippi, because if not, it's gonna be rough. Alright, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. You will live on forever on my body. And there's squeebs down here! Good, because I need... some ink sacks to make my armor fully cool. And now one more trip back to my house, make and fully kit out my armor. I'm not going to let anything distract me because I've been putting this off for far too long. We're just going to go directly home, make armor, make it black and cool, and then go directly to the cave up by the village. There is one literally over there, but I've already said that I'm going to go for the village. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that Howie is not going to despawn. Hell yeah. All right, we want a hat and pants. All right, we are ready for action. Let's put the meat away. We'll split up these two stacks just so these, these bottom three all have four in them. Put our iron away because I'm not going to smelt one iron, but we have one. And then we have our dirt, we have our cobble, we have extra torches. Our sword's a little broken, so I'm, I am going to make a backup one just in case. If we end up being gone for a while, I don't, I don't want to get caught with my pants down. We got buildables, we got a boat. We don't have a bucket, but that's what we're going to get. All right, I would say we are sufficiently good to go. We got three and a half armor slots. Oh, with the blessings of Howie the Chicken Jockey, I hereby decree this egg as the most lit awesomest egg there's ever going to be, and therefore the most lit awesomest chick there will ever be. Ha! Howie didn't work. It, it didn't work. The time has come. It's time to head over to the, uh, the cave. The mystical cave of Mount... Uh... What was this, what would that mountain be called? Um, leave, leave a comment what that mountain should be called. <laughs> the mysterious cave of the nameless mountain. Hey, Mr. Man, how you doing, buddy? I'll get you a job eventually, don't you worry. Now, was the cave up more? I think it was, yes. Here we go. All right, uh, let's be super careful, because uh, I have 15 levels now, and that would actually upset me if I lost it. So let's be real careful. Pull. Gonna have to grow. Oh, this place is sick. Look at this place. Wow, it's like a hollow mountain. Dope. I don't think I'm going to be getting down there expediently, however. I am, because I have a boat. I have a boat, so I can get down there just fine. I sure as hell hope they didn't add fall damage to this. We're about to find out. Whee! All right, cool. Oh! Ah! My boat okay? Boat's fine. All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a lot of that is a lot of creepers. Um, okay, yeah, let's do myself a favor. Utility boat, go. And let's just ring around a rosy. Okay, we 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 caught two creepers. We have brought down the number of creepers we have to deal with significantly. This zombie is pissing me off. 
Creeper dead. Eh. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Is there a zombie spawner over there or something? There might be, actually. That, that's that's a lot of zombies. Hold on, we, we might have found our structure. Well, we'll... Alright, so... The, the torches lead that way, potentially, to a spawner. Right now, I want to deal with these creepers before they do anything foolish. Alright, this is the range I'm I'm safe at. Bring out. Just scooch forward. Alright. Utility boat reacquired. That's why you keep a boat on you, everybody. The most helpful tool. It's it made it so I could get down here safely without any fall damage involving no bucket whatsoever. And it brought down the threat of three creepers down to the threat of one creeper. And our first little proper bit of iron that wasn't just randomly on a beach somewhere. Alright. We'll keep that in my hotbar just so I can count how much I'm I'm getting. Now let's come over here. Um no, we wanna we wanna put the wall we don't wanna put the torches on the left side so I can just follow them back if I get lost. I'm pretty good with finding my way back, but even I get lost sometimes. Oh wow! Emerald! Dickwad. I was being interested in the fact that there's a semi-rare resource right here. Um I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna leave that there for when I, and I'm gonna come back when I have fortune. If that gets blown up by a creeper. <laughs> See, that's that that's that Minecrafter sixth sense I got going on. Bam. Pop boop. Alright, we're not we're not letting that emerald get blown up by a creeper quite yet. Down the road, maybe. If you're nice. Oh, I think that was no nope, copper. Um, I won't worry about grabbing copper because it's everywhere and in the thousands, so if I need to get copper, I can just go any direction at any point and get copper. I hear another bonin. I'm really keeping my- oh, there's more emerald there. Hell yeah. This is an extreme hills, isn't it? Uh, meadow. Weird. I guess they did change the, uh, like, uh, the blob generation for, for resources a while back. That was my iron. That is a limited resource. That is a hot commodity that I cannot be wasting like that. Well, I mean, not anymore, because I, I have the iron total now to rebuild it, but... I would prefer to get as much mileage out of it as I possibly can. Dirty love andesite. I love that it's in the way, and then I can bring it home, and I can use it to decorate my house. Oh, what's happening? Oh, the andesite fell out of my inventory. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? I'm over it. It's really rough not having Optifine, and therefore not having, like, dynamic lights. So I can, you know, just carry around a torch and actually have to spend them to be able to see. But uh, we have to wait. Gotta wait for Optifine to be updated, because this is the brand new thing. Even if I keep this as, like, 95% vanilla, I am gonna get Optifine at some point. Or whatever, like, the fabric equivalent of it is, because I don't think... I don't think Optifine works with fabric. I think fabric has, like, a dedicated Dynamic Lights mod. Alright. Pickaxe number one is gone, so Or coal. We have at least a 64 stack now, because we're spilling over into the hot bar. Ooh, hold on. Utility boat. Get in the hot bar, you spicy... Spicy bitch. <laughs> oh, there's more emerald there. And a witch. Great. Alright, we'll highlight that. And I can come back and get it. Witch down. Uh. Ooh, hold on. Okay. We'll damage you. My sword broke. Alright, utility boat, go! <laughs> he circumvented the utility boat, oh no! Get over here, you big dungus. There we go. I heard a skeleton. Yeah, there he is. He's right by that creeper. Oh, there's another- there's another skeleton there. There's another creeper here. Okay, so we're gonna- we're gonna light you up. Right, that much. Then we're gonna lead you back over to utility boat, and then we're gonna grab a skeleton, and bring him over to shoot you guys little fuck. Why is he hitting? He's hitting me so quickly. There we go. Alright, into the utility boat. Alright, cool. Now let's light these guys up. And see if we can't grab... Can't grab a skeleton. There's a lot of creepers in this situation. What the piss? Why even? Can creepers aggro on skeletons now? That's a terrible spot for the utility boat. Okay, creepers, come over here. Put utility boat down here. You suck at this.
This is the most difficulty I have ever had. Getting a skeleton to shoot creepers in a boat. We're gonna be here for a little bit. Because I couldn't light these guys. Okay, no, that guy just felt like blowing up. Alright, there's one. Grab it. And grab the other one. Alright, cool. We got weight and blocks. I think blocks is one I like, so I'm happy. Alright, we have officially uh, been refunded. The <laughs> state. Or. <laughs> Freudian slip. The, uh... Ooh, you have a sword. Can you drop that, please? Because, like, mine's gone. Actually, you know what? This is a... This is a time for utility boat. Because <laughs> I ain't... I ain't playing with that. Nope. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, that, uh... That uh, got out of hand very quickly. Oh, wait! Hold on! That... That's a new bat! Right, they made the bats different! Oh, they're so cute! They're even cuter than they were before! I love them. You can't lead bats, can you? So I would love to have one back at my place. Are you a notable villager? You're a blacksmith. Okay, well, I'm way far off being able to, like, cure you guys. So, uh, utility boat. Go. Alright. No more distractions, please, because I came down here for iron. I <laughs> came out of this with two music discs that I can't even use because I don't have diamonds yet. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna head down here. Actually spelunking to a dead end with nothing in it. Alright, cool. Aha, more iron. Is it just the one? It's just the one. Ah, yeah, 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 it's not just the one. There's a little bit more. Man, the, the, the updated ore generation has made iron quite the hot commodity, especially early game. Well, either way, we're up to five, as opposed to the, like, basically nothing we had before. Oh, here we, go, here we go, there's the pants, there's the chest plate. All right. We're getting there, we're making progress. Okay, yeah, I think now is time we head down where this guy is. Hey, you ain't right there, buddy. Oh, there's two of you. Wakes for me! That uh, wakes, sorry. <laughs> I did the accent wrong. <laughs> now there's space for you. There you go, buddy. Alright. Skeletons dealt with- Ow! Oh my god, the arrow was stuck in that block. <laughs> and it shot out and hit me. I'm mad. And now we steadily descend. Ooh, that's a lot of iron right there, baby! Yes, sir. Eh? We are making baking. For some reason, that doesn't work like that. We are up to a total of 16, counting the one I ba have back at home. So, we are closing in on being able to have my full set of iron. Very, very rapidly. Not including Bucket, though, but Bucket is only three. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to boat my way down there, because there's no ready way back. There's a pillar all up, but... Eh. I, I'm not that adventurous to... Oh god, I might have to be that adventurous. Okay, no, I can... I can stairs down here. I'm not that adventurous to go, uh, d diving off into the depths without a, uh, easily accessible way back should I need to emergency evacuate at any point. So, we're just gonna go ahead and use some cobble to make a stairs. And light that up real good. Which might not be the best idea with the fact that I have very few torches left. But we'll just have to start picking them up. Uh, do I want to go down this way? I don't think there's anything down here for me. Nothing down there is worth dying for. Especially when I have, like, actual valuables and stuff now. So let's actually knock these two out. Just so I can be a little bit more liberal with my usage of, uh... I'll keep this water here in case I need to, like, very quickly put myself out. In the event of a lava situation. They must have made emeralds more common or something. I found a lot. Speaking of a lot, iron, iron. We're at 20 now, so that's enough for a hat, a chest plate, and pants. So I need four more for the boots, three more than that for a bucket. Hey, this, this is too, this is too crevicey for my liking. So I'm gonna head back up. I'll come back down when I have a, when I have a, a more usable supply of torches. Thank you. I have, a, I have a couple. I have a few. But it's not nearly as much as I would prefer to have. Ooh, I also I also need to start being very selective about what I pick, because both of mine are almost broken. Um, that's That leads very down. Let's head this way. Anything? Coal. Anything? 
in vain. Huh. Iron. Oh. Alright, there's the bucket. And now that's boots. One. Two. Three. That's it. Alright. There we go. We, we, we have the iron for our purposes. All right, cool. Let's let's not putz around anymore because I am out of pickaxes. My iron <laughs> my iron sword is broken, which oh I'm mm. okay. I'm I'm gonna stay around for just a little bit longer to see if I can get two more iron to be able to make another sword when I get back. And it might be a good idea to get five more so I can actually oh it's spitballing and I don't like it because I need to repair I need to replace my tools. One, two, there's the sword, there's the pick, and okay, we're good, we're good. Everybody stop panicking, we're good. <laughs> we, we have exactly what we need. We, we have iron to fulfill all the needs that we currently have. And I think I even have an, enough extra to be able to make a shield as well. So we are currently cooking with gas, which uh, I'm just now thinking, hey, uh, I boated down here, so... How am I going to get back up? I'm sure there's a way back up. If I just like head over this way, there's probably a more readily accessible back. Okay. Um, I can do myself a favor and we're going to bip, boop, boop. Just so I have the distance to... Uh... Okay, uh, don't like this. Don't shoot me, bro. Okay, he shot. Oh, I don't like this. Time to do some sketchy shit, sketchy shit, sketchy shit. Time to do some sketchy shit, some sketchy shit right now. Time to do some sketchy shit, sketchy shit, sketchy shit. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, and now we'll just bridge across. Uh... Okay. Oh. Okay. Solid ground. We're good. <laughs> and now this is just an easy, easy way back up. You've served me well, faithful iron pick. I'll be sure to resurrect you in a momentito. And we are... Above ground, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. All right, where am I? Once I get that bucket, I can start making that waterfall I keep talking about so I can, you know, swim up. Hey, Howie, good to see you, buddy. I can just swim up here and not have to go th around through my, <laughs> through my, uh, pen. There we go. Yeah, it was a lighting situation. All right, cool. Soon enough. Wait a minute. I just remembered, you can tell... You can, you can till dirt now, can't you? <laughs> so long as we have a source of wheat and such, it's fine. I just, I just, I just totally forgot that you can, you can till, <laughs> you can till dirt now, so you don't need to have grass blocks. Regardless, we have the music discs now. So grab that iron. Diorite, diorite can just like go out into the ocean. We're not gonna use that. Goodbye. Whew. And let's do this real quick. Uh, we have a six by three, which is this. Put that up so it's a six. Put that in there. Finish that off. And we'll just put the rest of the nine in that there. Boop. Bip. All right, cool. Now we're not gonna optimize this for speed. We're gonna optimize this for like coal consumption because that I, I do not have a whole lot of coal so we want these to be stacks of eight there we go and then do one more then like that all right minimized coal consumption put all of that into the furnaces all right so that'll be brewing and put my sugar in here put the redstone there the dirt and the granite there and we are really quickly going to me meander over to where the, uh, the horses and all those cows were because I forgot to grab the sugarcane. And sugarcane is very, very important because sugarcane makes paper. And paper makes books, and books are needed for enchanting. And I'm gonna need all of those. Hello, sugarcane. Fancy seeing you here. Don't mind if I do. Oh! Oh, 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 hold on. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. There's a wheat farm over there. Composter included. Do you know what I don't have? An active wheat farm. Or a composter. There's a... There's... There's the rest of the people. There's two farmers down here. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with you guys at some point. Because, uh, this... 
This whole two farmer thing, not working. All right, well, I'm just gonna grab all of your crops. I'm gonna plant the wheat, and I might plant the... Oh, you're buying carrots. Good to know. All right, so let's, before I, there's beetroot seeds, interesting. Uh, before I leave y'all high and dry, what are, you, what, are you, what are you looking at? Uh, you're buying carrots and potatoes, and you are, you are selling bread, and you're buying carrots. Okay, gotcha. So I think I'm also gonna set up a carrot and potato farm, because uh, this is, this is money right here. I'm gonna keep you, because I'm not gonna buy bread, I'm not stupid. We may have a very lucrative friendship in our future. So I, I'm going to make you something that's not a farmer at some point. So I'm going to come back. No, I'm going to I'm going to take some wood and I'm going to I'm going to box him in. I'm going to keep him here and I'll set up a market stall for him as well. Once I can change his job from being a redundant farmer. Are you planting potatoes or beetroot seeds? Carrots. Interesting. I didn't know that you could plant more. You're planting carrots and beetroot seeds. Interesting. Hmm. Well, beetroots mean red dye, so... And we're gonna box you in. You get him nice and cozy. In it... Oh, right. I forgot. <laughs> nice and cozy. In his enclosure. There we go. And take your composter. Congratulations, you're fired. He will stay there until he becomes useful to me. Boop. You, my friend, keep doing what you're doing. I like your style. I'll come back to get, uh, set you up like a fence so you don't get shot. Yes, this place is going to look as ugly as sin. However, I'm going to be moving these guys at some point uh, over to where my place is, and I'm going to set them at, up an actual like place to be. I'm going to have a little subterranean village. That's what I'm going to do. Might be a little bit of an... <gasps> no, it won't be, because if with the fact that I'm above water... Once I get down to the water, I can have a subterranean and then a submarine village. Wow, that'd be dope as hell. I can have all of, like the market stalls down under the water. And I can make that like a little underdome. Ooh. Oh, so many Minecraft ideas. It's great. Uh, we're actually going to head down here real quick and plant some of that sugar cane. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just plant it like across here. That'll be our, our very minuscule sugar cane farm until I can set something like legitimate up. All right, composter. Composer will be going in here. Um, right. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll knock out this part here and have that be like a little compost area. But first things first, we have a goal to complete because we have iron, baby. Ingot, ingot, ingot. Ingot, ingot, ingot. Ingot, ingot, ingot. Ingot, ingot, ingot. And just like that, we have full iron and backup armor if I, in case I ever die. Julio, Julio. Put all the that in there, put that up there, and then we have, yeah, I think we, we also have enough for, uh, for a shield. So let's make another iron pick, make another iron sword, and grab some wood. Use that wood to make a shield. Hell yeah, baby. We are cruising. We'll put utility boat above the bucket so i have easy access to it whenever i need it put our one iron ingot in here and i'll get my storage situation sorted out like yeah uh, at some point down the road but right now we have our we have our goals laid out before us so let's really quickly run through my brain yeah okay we want to knock out we'll knock out like a nine by nine here a, a three by three to make nine and we'll have this just be our little uh, food area which means i can take any yeah, there's nothing in here. I can take any food-related stuff and I can just put that in that chest over there, which I'm actually going to do myself a favor and just make a one chest because I can move this one to our garden and this will be the new chest. Repurposed. Reduce, reuse, rakuki. So now let's just get two buckets of water. It's going to be easy because I have direct water access down here. And shakunki. For the time being, I won't worry about setting up my carrot and potato farm. Right now, we just need wheat because we need more animals. So we're just going to go ahead and set this up. It's nice and basic, and I'll worry about uh, setting up like an automated harvesting thing that I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, episode at some point later down the road because that's going to be a little while. That's very peculiar. I'm going to break these blocks. 
and see if that'll fix my situation. And uh, I'm out of wheat, so we'll just plant potatoes there, I guess. Actually, we'll, we'll plant carrots because both of them are buying carrots. Okay, that one worked. Why can't I? Oh, 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 there's not enough light. We figured it out. Wow, that's ugly. Okay, so seeing as how I figured out the situation, we're gonna we're gonna dig up all of my seeds real quick, and we're just gonna we're gonna make it laid out better, and fill up the rest of the carrots just so we're not wasting anything. There we go. Farm is now set up. All right. Which is here just for aesthetics. Put wheat in here, and we'll just really quickly jump down here and fill up our bucket. Let's knock out the dirt in here, because I, I I think I have smooth stone to like patch up some stuff. Because obviously I've mentioned this multiple times, we're gonna fill this out with wood at some point. But for the time being, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> so we're just gonna make it all smooth and like aesthetic for the time being. And then uh, we'll worry about replacing stuff with wood down the road. In fact, we're going to take cobblestone and use that for labs. So that might be a better idea for this. We're just gonna we're gonna knock this out real quick. Ignore how I'm using durability on my only iron pickaxe. Do that. And more. So that's clean four, clean four, and do it two. There we go. Now I don't have to jump all the time. Awesome. <sighs> I am missing inventory tweaks. I am. I, I like inventory management until that inventory management involves me, like, just sorting shit out to look aesthetically pleasing and not just be convenient. We'll save durability on our iron for the time being. Right meow. Now that we have full iron under our belt, all we have really now to do is find a structure. Which, we've already found a village, but as I mentioned, we're not going to count that for the sake of it. So, we're just going to go out on an adventure, now that we're fully protected in our iron armor. And we are going to try and find ourselves a structure. I will count it if we find just like, if we just find a second village, that'll be good enough for me. Not going to matter. <laughs> I'll patch that up later. Seeds, seeds. We out here looking for structures. If I find a second village, that'll be good enough for me. But ideally, I would like to find something at least a little bit extra interesting. So I'm probably going to find an ocean monument if I just like boat out that way. And uh, I'm. it's a structure, so it's categorically what I'm looking for. But uh, the ocean monuments aren't really that helpful. At least at this current point, because, like, w what do they have that warrants me going down there right now? So, we're actually going to head south ways, and we're going to head past the village and past the, the nameless mountain. See if I can't find something a little bit more interesting than an ocean, um, ocean monument. I'm not sure what I'm expecting to find with the fact that I'm just going in a direction. But, uh, I guess, well, no. I, I could find, like, a like a sunken, or not a sunken, but like a, a boat wreck or something. And that could lead to a buried treasure. That'd be interesting. And I think about it with that possibility in tow. Uh, it probably would have been a good idea to build a shovel before I shoved out. Uh, -huh. uh I didn't. So here we are. Okay. Oh, hey. Ooh, there's a snowy tundra over there. Oh, concern it. Why did I set up my shop? Oh, and it's like hollow pumpkins. Oh, there you go. There's not structures, but with still more interesting interesting stuff over here. Oh, and there's more sugar cane down there. Um, yeah, I do want to check out that that snowy tundra. Uh, but before I got completely distracted by the uh, the onset of new information we have uh, ushered into our brain hole, I was gonna say there's always the possibility that I run into wolves, which um, I should probably have my bones on me, so I could bring so I could bring back the wolf if I find <laughs> fine. I'll turn around. I need to make a shovel, I need to grab my bones. Okay, well, regardless, as I was saying, Snowy, just cut back to when I'm coming back, because I'm just going to make a very quick trip back to make a shovel and uh, and grab my bones, so it's not going to be interesting. Yeah, there we go. This is the only way to travel. It's very convenient that we have this giant river just, you know, shooting through everything. This seed is really cool. Look at that mountain up there. I really like this seed. I bet y'all out there are very happy that I showed you the seed at the at the very beginning of this first episode, huh? That means you can get all this cool stuff as well. We are fully prepared. I have 12 bones if we run into a pup, and I have a shovel if we run into a boat wreck. Which, with the fact that I'm going up into a snowy tundra on top of a mountain, I don't think I'm going to find a boat wreck, but hey, weirder things, are, weirder things have happened. I also haven't made my own brown sheep! Whoa! Okay, I'll be coming back for you at some point. You're a rare spawn. And I also just like brown sheeps. Hello. <laughs> cool. 
I hope there's not. I hope there's not wolves up here because they might kill the brown sheep, and I would really prefer if that didn't happen. Uh, can you make snowshoes for like the the powder snow? I'm not sure if you can. I, I the, these later additions to Minecraft are really out of my wheelhouse. I don't know what there is and what there isn't. Lavin? I don't trust that for a second. I'm not gonna walk over to a naturally spawned lava trap. No thanks. Ooh, more pure white horses over there. And more pumpkins, way off in the distance. They're just barely on the edge of the distance fog. I wish I could turn up my render distance a little more, but uh, with the fact that I'm recording, Minecraft's a little bit extra demanding than it normally is. And hey, it's Java edition, so it's extra demanding. Oh, and me being in the, like a forest forest now reminded me, I need to get bees! Because Minecraft bees are just, just about like the cutest thing in existence, and I love Minecraft bees. I would love to have bees. Even if they're not like amazingly helpful, I would love to have bees. Although, I did remember with like the whole addition of various new like decorative copper blocks with this update, uh, I could always use the bees to have like beeswax and wax the copper so it doesn't oxidize if I don't want it to. So yeah, I need bees. Not not like a, a major goal for the series, because, you know, our major goal is getting one of every wolf, but bees would be very cool to have. Lilies of the Valley. Bee! Alright, cool. Bee confirmed. We have bees. Alright, awesome. So at some point, I'll need to come back with Silk Touch and grab that beehive. Bring it back home, and then I have some friendly, adorable bees to play with. While I adventure around and continue looking for another village or just a structure, here's a here's a thing for you. If you have the opportunity to own a domesticated honeybee that's about the size of a cat, and they don't have to another bee. So a domesticated honeybee that's about the size of a cat that doesn't have to worry about like a hive or anything like that. It just kind of walks around and bees a little fuzzy buddy. Would you have that domesticated bee? Would you be that bee's friend? I would be that bee's friend. Especially with the fact that uh, it's a bug, and when bugs get big... Oh! Oh, there's our structure, everybody! We have a broken nether portal! That's not what I was expecting to find. Interesting. I think I'm gonna keep going with this episode, though, because this is cool, but a Fortune 2 shovel. Don't mind if I dizzy do. That's a lot of flint and steels as well. I'll grab all of them, just in case. What was I talking about? Right, bees. So, uh, with the fact that, you know, bugs have, like, exoskeletons and stuff, uh, for their size, they are very formidable and, like, tanky. So, if you make them, like, animal-sized, they are proportionally tanky and stuff. So, you don't have to worry about hurting your little bee buddy all that too much. And with it being big, it doesn't have, like, that response of, uh, trying to attack you if you press down on it. Because, you know, the, the bugs only really have that response because they don't want to get squished. So, if you have a big bee, you don't have to worry about getting squished, so you could pet your big bee buddy. And you just have a big fuzzy bee buddy. So would you, uh, would you, would you, would you have a, a cat-sized domesticated honeybee just kind of hanging around and ex existing in your, in, in your house? I absolutely would. I may be entomophobic, but honeybees and mantises specifically, well, most species of mantis, uh, they don't really trigger my entomophobia, especially not honeybees, because honeybees are adorable. A lot like moths. Well, most moths. Honeybees in particular are great because they're a specific species, so I can say that all honeybees are adorable. Moths, however, can range from very cute to very, uh, freaky. Honeybees, you don't gotta worry about that, because a honeybee is always gonna be a honeybee. A bee will not always be a honeybee, but a honeybee will always be a honeybee. Alright, so, uh, it's good to know that, um, we have a broken nether portal like, within walking distance of my house. That's super dope. And I think I might actually, I might not, I might actually not make a nether portal at my base and just use that, because I've never done that before. I've always set up a nether portal in my base, so I obviously have, like, easy access to the nether. So it might be kind of interesting to, uh, set up a, uh, uh, or rather fix a broken nether portal and just use that as my nether portal. Oh, hold on, we have, we have potential for more, more records here. Alright, dead spider. Back to the boat, go. Shot, and let's take a pot shot at the creeper. And do it again. Now he's lit. Oh, you dumb son of a bitch! Okay, well, we'll have to break the boat now. He can't shoot the... He can't shoot the driver of the boat. Nice shot. Be worse. Okay. Well, look, grab utility boat. Shot the horse, Dipthong. I have a shield, what am I doing? <laughs> You are being really inconvenient with your dumbass AI, my guy. You know, I picked up utility boat again. I could just put the creeper back in utility boat. 
Why are you arcing it over the creeper, you dickwad? I'm gonna have to use utility bow just because this guy's being a douche. There. Not sure if that was the blue one I already had or if it's a purple one. It looked purple to me. Uh, let's grab an iron sword. So there's more creepers down here. At least I thought there was. They must have despawned. There is another one over here, though. Get up here, and we'll light the creeper up here. You are such a jackass. Skeletons, you turn- even when I'm thinking like, you know what, I dislike zombies more than I like skeletons. No, they, they proved me wrong, skeletons are just the worst enemy in Minecraft. Awful, terrible, dog shit, annoying pieces of shit. Everyone should hate skeletons, no one should like skeletons, they fucking suck. They do everything in their power to be as inconvenient, as unhelpful, and a hindrance to your existence as they possibly can. No matter how much you try to sway the odds in your favor, they will always find some way to fuck you over. Wow, it is very clearly I've it is very clear that I've been recording for like three hours now because my voice is going away. <laughs> if I hit to like a big body of what is <gasps> That's a cherry blossom place! Whoa! Cherry forest area! Okay, it's a good thing I came over here. Um, I don't have my axe, so I can't, like, grab anything, at least efficiently. So, we'll come- we'll remember where this is, because it's just to the south of the- the unnamed mountain village. But we, we are definitely coming back here, because we, we- we gotta get some of them pink trees. You already know we gotta get some of the pink trees. So, we're just gonna- Uh, yeah, there- there you go. Recorded. The- the- the coordinates are there. Alright. <laughs> so now we're just gonna continue on a little bit more. If there's anything more that's readily available and like within walking distance. If there is, dope. If there isn't, whatever, we found our structure. We may not have found like a super interesting important structure because we found a broken nether portal. That is on top of spawning next to a village as well as we found a biome that I was looking for. Okay, th there's more pumpkins over there, but I feel like I've grabbed more than enough pumpkins for a lifetime. No more distractions. We're looking for a structure here. Ooh, whoa. Hold on. We have cool generation. Whoa! Look at this place! This is sick! Oh my god, this is awesome! This seed is so cool! Wow, look at this place! That's super cool. Even if we're not finding, like, a structure, there's just so much cool shit on this seed. A bunch of naturally generated waterfalls leading into a cave system. I'm not looking for combat right now. I am here looking for a structure. I don't think wolves can spawn in plains biomes. They might. I probably should have checked to see what biomes the new wolves spawn in. I know there's the there's a forest wolf at least. Because that's it yeah, just replaced the default wolves. And then the default wolf is a pale wolf now. Uh, between episodes, I'll make sure to like look into the various Ooh, peonies. Yeah, pink. I'll make sure to look into the uh, various variants of wolves and where they spawn so I can actually like look out for biomes and stuff. We got peonies for plenty of pink dye. I'm feeling good. And we're just gonna walk around for a little bit in this forest area to see if we can eke out our first wolf. I don't think this is an actual forest. No, it's a forest. It'd be very convenient if the first episode of this series, we also managed to get our first wolf, which is not asking for much because you know, we're just looking for a basic forest wolf. So we're, we're, we're looking for we're looking for little brown colors. Little brown colors. Blotches of brown in this forest of green and also brown. <laughs> hey, is this just one random zombie or is there a spawner down here? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, there's our structure, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sirree, we have ourselves a zombie spawner. Ooh, hoo, 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 yes, sir. All right, cool. Let's, let's clear this place out. I had, a, I had that gut feeling. I had that gut feeling that that, that zombie I heard underground wasn't just going to be a zombie. All right. Hell yeah. Do some very basic things here. We got more bones. We got 13. String. Some gunpowder. Iron horse armor. Some more bread. A golden apple and a name tag! Yes! Uh, uh, in my to-do in my to-do list, I literally wrote, find a structure ideally with a name tag. There we go. All right, everything on my to-do list has been completed. Hell yes. And we have a zombie spawner now, so we can make a mob grinder at some point. Yes, it is a good thing I decided to keep going. All right, let's 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 knock out a little bit of cobblestone so we can 
pillar our way out. We don't really need a mob spawner right now, especially not a <laughs> zombie spawner, arguably one of the useless ones. But if nothing else, we have an we have an infinite supply of XP now with occasionally some iron or potatoes. All right, cool. And I took a screenshot of the, uh, the coordinates. All right, yeah. All right, cool. There's our there's our structure. Let's head back home, offload our loot, and uh, we'll close off this episode. So it's gonna be a long trek back. Uh, I'm gonna have Snowy just transition to uh, <laughs> to when we're back home. But if I bump into anything interesting, I'll be sure to hop back in. Oh, oh, hey, whoa, whoa, yeah. There we go. Okay. Hell yeah, we found pale wolves, which is kind of boring because this is the default wolf that is no different from before they added variants. But we officially have our first wolves. All right, sick. All right, buddy. Boop. Dip. All right, there we go. We found a spawner and we have our first wolf. See if we can grab a couple more. There's another one. There's another one. These ones, th these dogs are being very, very convenient for me. So there was another one that went down here somewhere. All right, well, I'll try to find this last one. There we go. Check Pale Wolf off of the list. Are you, you're, yeah, you're not domesticated yet. There we go. Wow, one wolf required two and all the, the, the three others required one. Hell yes. All right, we have our first addition to the pack. <laughs> Again, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's the default Minecraft wolf that is no different from before the update. Progress is progress as far as I'm concerned. We're gonna have to make a lot of space for wolves if I'm just if I'm just gonna grab all the wolves I can, all the wolves that I can. Oh hey, and there's a beehive there. So much stuff that I've been looking for just directly out in this general direction. <laughs> Minecraft's great. All right, uh, now I will see you when we get back to the house with the with our first few additions to the pack. Oh, 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 wait, stop. All right, stop. Hold on. We got more. Forest wolf. Yes. Oh, I want you in particular. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. That's all right. So that's pale wolf and forest wolf. Immediately, immediately done. Oh, get back here. And there was a, there was one more. I think that was, yeah. Are you the, di yeah, okay. Boop. Man, I've been getting great luck on these, uh, on these taming things. All right. So now we have four pale wolves and three forest wolves. Oh hell, I'm very happy about the forest wolves. The, the, those are the one of the ones that I was really looking for. See, that's why I decided to cut through this forest, in case I happen to uh, bump into a couple more dogs. <laughs> Alright, everybody pile in. Pile in, come on, here we go. Alright, so one, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, three. Okay, that's our one. Close the door. Alright, everybody pile up. We took some hits out there, so who, who needs healing? Uh, you need a little bit of health. Uh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Well, let me see those tails. Uh, you're probably damaged. Come on, come, come on here. Oh yeah, you you took the brunt. You're you're the <laughs> you're the warrior of the group. There you go. All right, everybody, uh, just kind of sit down and relax for a little bit, cause uh, none of you are quite ready to go out and uh, adventure and adventure with me and such. We gotta we gotta get you guys like your wolf armor and stuff, cause that's a that's a thing that's in the game now. Which I find it really funny that uh, a lot of people were making fun of like the wolf armor and stuff, because they were saying like. Oh, yes, armor for the pet that you're just going to keep in your house all the time because you're afraid it's going to die. Yeah, I was afraid it was going to die because it doesn't have a way to protect itself. But now, wolf armor is a thing. You're almost dead here. What about you? You fine? Um, your, your tail could be higher. There we go. And you're fine. Oh, I accidentally made a puppy. Well, life finds a way. <laughs> all right, pup, you go ahead and you, you, you'll, be, you'll be the gardener pup. Um, I don't know who your parents are, so you're gonna hang out with Gardener Wolf. It looks like you want to come in here anyway. You just you hang out in here. Your parents are nearby regardless, because you know everyone's here. And I guess you'll 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 sleep in my room. All right. <laughs> so that was a very uh, lucrative, very eventful adventure. Let me sort out all the crap that I got. Yep, I got mall. So we now have four of the several music desks. All right, all of the loot is sorted out. All of the pups are safe and secure in the house. And I think you were the one that was the warrior that tried to fight everything and almost got yourself killed. So you're probably gonna be the one that ends up coming on adventures with me. But for the time being, I would say this was a very lucrative, very successful adventure today in Minecraft. Uh, yeah, our ultimate goal of getting one of every wolf uh, is working pretty good. We got, we got two off the list basically immediately. We got ourselves a nice home. 
we've found a structure we got our wolves we set up our, our our animal farm we set up our wheat farm with a little bit of carrots here and there uh yeah that was a very lucrative play session so uh with that that is uh, our first episode of minecraft i guess very very lucrative very rewarding very successful uh, I hope you are enjoying this so far, because I certainly am. If you genuinely enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a pop if you haven't already, and hit the bell so it actually does something. If you want to support me in the channel, you can do so on Patreon for just $5 a month and get a bunch of cool perks. A huge shout out to all of my current patrons, your support is very much appreciated, I love you all so much. And uh, you can very much enjoy the uh, the uncut, three hour long recording sessions, almost four, for this uh, ongoing Minecraft series on my Patreon. <laughs> my name's Vixie and I'll see y'all in the next one.